Have you ever needed to resize an LVM volume or need to add a drive to get more space? In this video, I will be talking about resizing LVM volumes and adding drives. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can take what I want when I wanna. In a previous video, we created a few logical volumes and now our system look like this. We have a logical volume disk one that's 20 gigs in size, disk two that is five gigs, and disk three that is 120 gigs. Now let's assume that the engineering department has grown since we set up their volume and they need more disk space. One of the perks of an LVM is that we can extend the logical volume to add more disk space. First, we have to unmount the volume that we want to manipulate. So go ahead and do cd semicolon sudo umount of slash mnt slash engineering. Then we can use the lvextend command to extend the size of the logical volume. So I'm going to do sudo lvextend dash capital L plus 20g dash dash resize fs slash dev slash server underscore vg slash disk three. I'm going to use the dash capital L option with a plus 20 gig to add 20 gigs of space to the volume. And I'm also going to use the dash dash resize fs option to resize the file system that's inside of that logical volume because otherwise only the logical volume is enlarged, but the underlying file system is still the old size. And then lastly, we specify the name of the logical volume to extend. So in the output, we see that the logical volume of disk three changed from 120 gigs to 140 gigs. And the file system on slash dev slash mapper slash server underscore VG dash disk three has also been extended to 3670001601600 at 4K blocks, which is roughly 140 gigs if you do the math. One thing to note here is that we have been referring to the logical volume by the path of slash dev slash server underscore VG slash disk three. But this tool refers to it as slash dev slash mapper slash server underscore VG dash disk three. Essentially, they point to the same thing. Some tools just use the dev mapper notation. But in this case, our system accepts both. To see the effects of the LV extend command, we can use the LV display command. So we can do sudo LV display. What this is gonna do is gonna give you more information on all of the available logical volumes. And since we have three of them, they kind of scrolled off the screen. So let's do this again. And this time I'm, I'm gonna specify just the one that we're interested in, which is server underscore VG slash disk three. So here we see that the size of the logical volume is now 140 gigs instead of 120, right? Because we added 20 gigs. So let's go ahead and mount that volume to see the contents. So we're gonna do sudo mount slash dev slash server underscore VG slash disk three slash MNT slash engineering. I'm gonna CD into MNT engineering. We're gonna do an LS dash LH. And we can see the files that we had from before are still there so that the LV extend command preserves the existing data, right? This is important, right? This, this is the whole point of the LVMs is that we can go ahead and extend without messing up the data. But it's still a good idea to always back up your data before you do any of these disk manipulations, just in case you type in something wrong. Okay, so now I'm gonna run the DF command to look at the disk space. And as expected, the file system is now 140 gigs in size. Now let's say that the guests have chewed through their disk space and also need more. Again, because we're using LVMs, adding more space is easy. First, we have to unmount the volume that we want to manipulate. So I'm gonna do CD, semicolon, 
sudo umount slash mnt slash guest. Then we can use the lv extend command to extend the size of the logical volume. sudo lv extend dash capital L plus 20g dash dash resize fs slash dev slash guest underscore vg slash disk one. I'm going to use the dash L option with a plus 20 G to get an additional 20 gigs of space to the volume. And then I'm also going to use the dash dash resize option to resize the file system because otherwise the logical volume is enlarged, but the underlying file system is still the old size. And then lastly, I'm going to specify the name of the logical volume to extend. Wait a minute. This time we get an error when we run this. If we read the error statement carefully, we see that this is because the resize FS does not support the NTFS file system. But this isn't a problem for us. We just have to manually resize that file system. So we just run the same command again, but without the dash dash resize FS. And this time the command completes successfully. To see the effects of the LV extend command, we can use the LV display command. So I'm going to do sudo LV display guest underscore VG slash disk one. So here we see that the size of the logical volume is now 40 gigs instead of 20 gigs. So let's go ahead and mount that volume to see about the contents. So sudo mount slash dev slash guest underscore vg slash disk one I'm gonna mount that to mnt guest let's go ahead and cd into the mount point of mnt guest and then we we'll do a ls dash lh we see that the file we have from before is still here so once again the lv extend command preserves the existing data and i'm going to go ahead and run the df command to look at the disk space df dash h dot. Here we see that the total disk space is 20 gigs in size, not 40 gigs that we expected. This is because we expanded the logical volume, but not the file system within it. Not a problem, we can take care of that. So first we unmount the volume, cd semicolon sudo umount slash mnt slash guest. Then I'm going to use the NTFS resize program to resize the NTFS file system. I'm going to type sudo NTFS resize dash S 40 G. So dash S specifies the size of the volume and we're going to make it 40 G. And then lastly, what volume are we going to resize? It's going to be slash dev slash guest underscore VG slash disk one. Okay, once it's done, to verify, we're going to go ahead and mount that logical volume again and then cd into the mount point. So sudo mount slash dev slash guest underscore vg slash disk one to slash mnt guest. cd into mnt guest ls dash lh. The file is still there from before. So once again, nothing has changed in terms of the contents. But now if we do a df dash h of dot, we see that it has the 40 gig capacity instead of the 20. So we have successfully extended the logical volume and also the file system underneath it for a NTFS file system. Now let's assume that the company continues to do well and the engineering folks need even more space. Let's say they want to go up to 200 gigs. So first we have to unmount the volume. So cd semicolon sudo umount slash mnt slash engineering. And then we can extend the volume by doing sudo lv extend dash capital L plus 60g dash dash resize fs slash dev slash server underscore vg slash disk three. Now this time we get an error about insufficient free space. What's that about? Well, if we do the math, we can see that we're asking for 205 gigs to fit into the 150 gig volume group. And so we're not able to fit both the finance and engineering usage into our current volume group. 
So the solution is that we add more space to our volume group by adding another physical volume. So let's say we physically connect a new disk to the system. So we're going to use LS block to see the name of the device. And what we see here is that there is a new disk called slash dev SDD. And since the newly added device is not a physical volume, let's go ahead and make it one by using the PV create command. So sudo PV create slash dev slash SDD, right? We're going to point to the entire drive and we verify that uh, SDD is also now a physical volume. So next step up in the picture is that now that there is more physical volume space, we can add it to the volume group. But before we add anything, let's take a look at what we have so far. We're going to use the VG scan command, sudo VG scan. And then we're also going to do sudo VG display of server underscore VG to get more details on that volume group. And we see that that volume group is currently made out of two physical volumes totaling 150 gigs. So now let's go ahead and use the VG extend command to extend the size of the server volume group and add that new physical volume of slash dev slash SDD. So sudo VG extend server underscore VG slash dev slash SDD. And to verify that we extended the volume group, we're going to redo the VG display command again. So now we see by the size of the volume group that it is now up to 250 gigs, right? We added a hundred gigs to it by that new physical volume. So now we can extend the logical volume of disk three with another 60 gig of disk space as the volume group has now more space available. So we're going to use the LV extend command, sudo LV extend dash capital L plus 60 G dash dash resize FS slash dev slash server underscore VG slash disk three. And so it's going to go ahead and tell us that the new logical volume has been successfully resized. And to verify that the LV extend command did the right thing, we can use the LV display. So we do sudo LV display server underscore VG disk three. So here we can see that disk three is now increased by 60 gigs. And if we want to go ahead and verify, we can go ahead and mount up that volume by doing sudo mount slash dev slash server underscore VG slash disk three slash MNT slash engineering. I'm going to CD into MNT engineering, do a LS dash LH. We see that that four gig file we created is still here, still untouched. And if we do the DF dash H of dot, we now see that this file system has been extended by another 60 gigs. And if we use LS block, we can see how each disk and partition is being used by the LVM. In the type column, we see that the LVMs are listed as LVM instead of disk or part, which we are familiar with. We see that SDB1 holds all 40 gigs of the logical volume of disk 1. We see that the 5 gigabytes of disk 2 is contained in SDB2. We also see that the 200 gigabytes of disk 3 is split between SDB2 SDC and SDD. For more videos on the Linux command line, make sure you watch these videos here. Or if you are interested in learning about Linux tips and tricks, watch these videos here. And make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.